You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Clear and cool this morning under a bright sun. Those fall colors really starting to change out there at Upper Park. And that's not even the pretty part of this shot. We came across this little guy when we were out leaf hunting today. Well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. You Love. always see those in Upper Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And deer, they're just kind of the, the wild animals you don't mind running into. Yep. Not too close still, but uh, anyway, Chief <laughs> Meteorologist Jason Sips here now with a forecast. Yeah, I'm over here eating breakfast. I don't know why you have me on camera, but uh, <laughs> it's going to be chilly again tomorrow morning for all the deer and everybody else. Tomorrow we also have some gusty wind blowing through the valley, as well as the foothills, our canyons, Jarbo Gap area too. Temperatures start to cool down rapidly now that the sun has already set in Alturas, it's already below freezing 27 degrees this morning the low was one degree so it was cold 37 degrees right now in chester paradise is 49 55 degrees in chico and 57 mild degrees in reading but that's after a high of 65 which is finally the first day in over two weeks where we finally were at where we're supposed to be now currently the wind is not a problem but we do have an area of low pressure just off the coast and you know it's moisture starved that is going to cause our area to have some gusty wind. Now you wouldn't know it by looking at our future cast the next 24 to 48 hours. Hardly a cloud anywhere around the region right now. It's clear by Wednesday afternoon some clouds trying to approach the coast. But what we we'll really notice is that gusty wind as that area of low pressure departs and moves further south along the California coast. Even by 11 o'clock tonight we'll have some gusty wind at times through the gaps in the canyons as well as through the valley between 15 and 25 mile an hour gusts. We'll call it a really windy night or windy day, but it will be blustery at times. We'll have some breezes blowing here and there, and it'll definitely make it feel a little bit cooler than the temperature, and those breezes will continue Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. Not quite as strong by Wednesday afternoon, and we'll be weakening on Thursday. Another round of gusty wind is going to get here by this coming Friday, but no wet weather. Now, every day, I'm always looking at the levels, both on Lake Oroville as well as Shasta Lake. I want to show you the comparison of the last three years. Now, two years ago on this date. We were 180 feet below where we should be at Lake Oroville. Last year on this date, we were down to 669 feet. That's 231 feet down. Today, we're 232 feet down, which is one greater. And as you can see, that is the first time in a year that the lake level at Lake Oroville is now below where we were last year. And we're at the same level that we were on July 13th of July of, uh, of 2021. So you can see the area in blue, that's this year's level. And the green line, which is a little bit tougher to pick out, that's last year's lake level. Now our level continues to drop down. We jumped up in October of last year. We had that good rain in mid to late October. We also jumped up again on Lake Oroville's level in December. We had some more mountain snow and valley rain, but we haven't had good amounts just yet. So it's going to continue to go down. And we're currently only 40 feet above the low that we achieved last summer. So we want some increase in that lake level, but it's not going to be happening anytime soon. We also like those temperatures to rise too, but temperatures in the morning will be in the 20s and 30s in the mountains with highs in the 50s and 60s. Cold in the morning for the northeast and highs will not be much warmer. Highs tomorrow in the 40s and lower 50s. For the ridge, a cool night with some gusty wind developing. Highs tomorrow will be in the 50s tomorrow, but it'll feel cooler than that with the breezes blowing. For the valley, we'll also have the breezes tonight. More than lows between 35 and 40. Highs above average, mid to upper 60s. And for the Chico area, we'll also have lows tonight in the mid to upper 30s. Highs mid to upper 60s tomorrow afternoon. The next seven days in Chico, we're going to have increasing clouds, but decreasing wind speed by Thursday. Temperatures start to drop back down below level. But as you can see, both in Chico and in Redding, those highs will stay in the 60s. Fairly seasonable for this time of year, but only a slight chance for some rain showers. And that will be still seven days away next Monday. Thank you, Jason. At 530,